Ah, okay. Hey, Bill. Well, I'm trying to see. Yes, then what? How have you been? Okay, we're trying to get this stupid thing to work. Or? Yeah, I'm just trying to type it in. It's, you know, I just don't want to get ahead of myself. Yeah, so I've been playing around with you. Know. Oh, John, they both my agenda. <laughs> hey, how are you, Jay? Okay, staying out of trouble. Are we asking too much? <laughs> noise with me but this is Doug town council. Okay. It's not any better. It's a little bit better. Oh. I don't know that I even need that. Right? I've got it, everything's on here. Because whatever it picks up is going to come through this, you'd have to turn down the speaker. Can you hear us? Yep, that's much better. Yes. Okay. I don't hear that loud sound anymore. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, wow. That's it. Good with, Bill, with Bill's help, I think. Yeah, Finally we'll got, that got this. Got got this the, yeah, it's this. Was, this uh, thing's working. The culprit. Uh, and uh, then were these yours? These are your notes, right? That had that. Passcode. Okay. Hey. Okay. All right. Now we know. What? I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> something. Okay. 
All right, it's seven oh four. Let's call the meeting to order. Uh, the roll call. Doc, are you on the phone? I am. Okay, good, thanks. Missy is here. Nobody's here. Well, I asked. Hi there. Ken is here. And Jay is here. And we have uh, Rebecca on and Corey. And I think that's it. Anyone no. else? No. Okay. This is only our voices. The back of your head. What? It's the back of your head in my face. Surprise, this camera is broken. <laughs> well, this high tech stuff is totally going to miss your name. Let's see how many. Doug, Jen, me, Bill, Missy, and Doug. Doug. So we don't need four. so we've got five regular here, so we don't have to appoint you or my or, or okay. All right, uh, next item is the uh, review approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Are there any comments, corrections? To I just got them home when I didn't have to go to bring them <laughs> too. <laughs> Enter the door. Hearing none. Someone would make a motion. I make a motion. We uh, accept the minutes. Accept it. Jay makes a motion to accept the minutes. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Mr. I second. would. I wasn't here, so I, I left someone. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All in favor of accepting, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. aye. Opposed? Hearing, hearing no opposition, the, me, the minutes are accepted unanimously. Uh, fiscal report, uh, not much different from the, the last meeting. I know at the Lester House, there are some things ongoing that will rack up some charges, but uh, it's got 30% of the budget remaining. Uh, the sawmill, about 85% left, 58,137. I think there have been a couple, couple of small things that have, that have gone, gone through there. And in miscellaneous, uh, there's still $700, um, which is uh, like four or 500 for the school. And then there's still, I think, a couple hundred bucks in there for, for signs. Uh, we've got a $200 purchase order out on that. And the um, facility, I'm sorry, the capital accounts are the, are the same. About 7,500 for the Western House and 25,000 for the, for the mill. Uh, I don't think uh, with the new new budget until until that's I guess passed by the town or accepted uh, we're not going to see any any additional funds from that. All right. Um, Okay, um, committee reports. Uh, Bill? Yeah, I've got a few things. It's, uh, one is going to be back. Um, so I thank you, or I guess Alan covered for me last week and in the minutes had a substantial update. So, um, Missy, I'd want to share a few things that, that, are, that are maybe the most important to us right now would be the RFP that we're processing for the structural assessment. 
So then Alan and I met with what we thought were going to be three vendors on April 4th. Turned out one of them wasn't not able to attend a, a medical emergency in the family. And, and I haven't heard from her. So this is um, Marie Ennis. I don't think they will be submitting a bid. Um, I, I had told her if she was interested, we'd meet again, but I haven't heard back and knowing it was a, you know, a family and her husband's so, ill. So what sh sh should we just we, go with two or? We, well, that's what we'll do. We will get, we the, we'll get with the, the, with the two. Yeah. And then we'll share that back. We asked for three, but one chose not to bid. Right. <laughs> we're invited. So we conducted the, the walkthrough on the 4th of April. Um, the responses are due back on the 5th of May. The deadline for questions was the 15th. I hadn't received any, but I did get one today and we'll respond to it. I, so it's a late question, but we will certainly respond. Sure. It's a pretty simple, pretty method. Yeah. Problem, I, mean, yeah. I don't have any problem doing that. And we're targeting a selection on the 20th of May. Um, the funds are without extension available through the end of August, I believe. And we're targeting to have the assessment complete by the end of the July. Uh, we think that two months, two and a half months ought to be enough for, for them to do the assessment. We could extend, the state has told us that if it was progressing and we need a little more time, that would be fine. Um, so I'm not worried about an extension, but I don't think we'll need it. Um, so I think we're in pretty good shape on the, the structural assessment. I was supposed to have on a separate topic, the ongoing security system discussion. Um, since I was last here, I did reach out to Rue Protective Services um, and he shared two bits of information that aren't necessarily encouraging. The first is the cost of the cable, the wire that would be needed has not gone down. It's only gone up since the last time. So, um, and it was gonna be a substantial installation fee. I also asked him about, you know, doing it with, you know, lesser cable. Um, and he said, no, I, I wouldn't recommend it and I wouldn't do it. Um, for this particular for this particular system. environment, he said, look, I he says, I don't, you know, we've been in business for a long time that we would we would only do it this way. We'd understand, he certainly would understand if we chose somebody else. Um, I have been in discussion with Ron from that you had shared two months ago. Um, and we were supposed to meet today. Um, he hurt his back over the weekend. I think as many of us can understand what that's like. So we weren't able to meet. Installation costs over the phone, somewhere in the thousand dollar range as opposed to four or five. So, um, and what he did say, and this was a discussion we had the last meeting I was at, whether we would have wireless. He doesn't believe he would use wireless um, for a couple reasons. One, and you gotta replace batteries. And so you're going to have all these sensors and different, you know, cameras outside. He said, I probably wouldn't use batteries, but he wouldn't use the armored cable that Roo Protective Services would do. He would just use basically a phone line sort of um, right. installation. So which it's rel can be, relatively. It's not uh, obtrusive. You wouldn't even you wouldn't, know. You wouldn't be. Yeah. No. I mean, so I'm, I'm not overly concerned with that. He did say that it, it comes with an interesting feature. Um, it would come with a panel that everyone who has a key would have a code. So we have one key, you know, we have many copies. So of course, um, some people are there more often than others, but then if you were to go, you would go in and when you went in, you'd enter your key. We know exactly who was I in have that. my own. You would have your own code. code. That's right. You have your own. Everybody so. would have their own. And I think that's- Is there a record then? Yep. Yeah, it keeps a log. Everybody I'm sure it's access on the internet, all of that sort of thing. The only thing I'm concerned about, um, and we'll just have to wait and see, is you know how many false alarms might go off, right? And uh, you know who's going to get called when these things go on. But I think, given the cost, and uh, Ron seems like a heck of a guy, and I think you knew that. Really, you know, responsive. He his, he to, I think he knows his stuff. Yeah, and you know, I you know I've thought more about it. Initially, we went a route we did because we were we wanted to go to a place that had done historic properties. Rue does all of Mystic Village, or excuse me, the seaport rather. Those aren't barn-like facilities. Those are buildings, yeah. right? And there's, and, and I think you would, you know, if someone put in a wire in the wrong spot and we didn't like the looks of it, we move it. What's the worst case? There's some staples that are in the wood. So I'm not, I'm not as concerned maybe as I initially thought because it's a barn. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, 
So we Unless the fact that it's small wire rather than a yeah, I mean, because that armored cable, we have a lot of it now for the electric. I know, and it looks like crap, it, it, especially on the you know where the lean to is like uh, yeah, seeing so, it, yeah. You know. Um, so we'll see. Again, I was hopeful to have like an actual quote today. We had arranged it a week or so ago. Today was the day that worked, and unfortunately, yeah. he wasn't able to. One thing on the uh, uh, false alarms, we could check. He's got he's got a system in the uh, kitchen, the pantry, the food pantry that they just they put yes. in recently. Mm -hmm. I mean, who's ever in charge of that? Oh, we could just check with them to see how how you know. Yeah, is, are they down there every day with false alarms? Or I guess the difference is we're, you know, that's a building that if you're there, you're there for. I mean, not a lot of people are going to that building where the food pantry is other than going in and they're going in normally the day. You know, we've got, we know there are teenagers that are around. The, I, we'll just have to see. But right now we don't know how much activity is there because no, we don't. Right. And so not really. this will be, I don't know, it'll be insightful. So we'll see. And we could do all sorts of things. We could put spotlights that come on on the motion detection and I we'll see. The cost is low enough. I mean, the room installation we were talking four to six thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. And and so and I as the more I've thought about it, we initially had talked about the sawmill and the blacksmith shop. I don't know that we really need a blacksmith shop. I mean, we could always do it later. Yeah. Start with the what's important. And if we decide it, it's working well, you know, it, it's doing what we want, it's not creating any problems, then we could expand it to do the blacksmith shop sure. if we thought that was needed. Um uh -huh. So that's the security system is the second item. The third is some information Alan has shared around some repairs that we have planned for the, you know, provided the security system may be cheap enough that we can afford this. Um, but um, three items, one is the turbine gate where we had our diver volunteer repair last year. Uh, we think that's in the order of 700 to $1,000 to fabricate one with the right dimensions with the, you know, the appropriate connection. Um, there's also some interest in re repairing the pond head gate. Um, we've done a lot of work with that over the years. Um, it, it's the it's the wood that that's there, and I think Alan thinks that's in the two hundred to four hundred dollar range. Not much, yeah. Not much. And then Missy, there was another item. I think there's been some discussion. Alan had suggested um, replacing the sign. Um, I don't know if if you've had any conversation on that. Not really sure what that might be or how big we would want it, but. That was another, you know, thought that if the budget permitted to it's replace not, it's not in good shape or I don't recall whether it was a replacement or because there is one there now. Yeah. I'm not I certain. Think it, yeah, it's one there now. So yeah. oh go ahead. So Michelle. Alan, no, that's okay. So Alan and I did have a brief conversation, I think it was last week, um, about the possibility of doing two different signs. So obviously replacing the sign that's on the building itself, um, which I did have a conversation with Lance and, and Doug, and we could probably talk about that a little bit more when we get to the, the sign, um, sign subcommittee. Um, but the other thing is doing a larger sign, similar to, um, I don't know how many are familiar with the sign that's down by um, the Yale House by the ferry landing in Yale's Ferry, but something similar to that. The problem is right now is that we don't really have a vendor to produce those signs. So that's from a cost perspective, I don't know how much that would cost. Um, it's something we would have to investigate. That would that would give a little bit of uh, background history yeah. with, with, with the mill for, for, right. for visitors. Right. So what we had talked about is potentially doing half the sign with a little bit of historic information about it. And then at the bottom of the sign, have it, having the operational hours um, for both your spring and your fall sessions. That would be, that would be, It'd be nice. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what, you know, come, we've got a lot, you know, a number right. of options. So and, you got a whole bunch of things. Yeah, well, you know, hey, it was how much money. Right, we'll <laughs> see. Um, and then just to, in the interest of time, there's two other items I wanted to share just for awareness. Um, Alan received, he was contacted by a family member of a property that the owner had passed away recently. And they have a turbine there and it's a, a mill turbine of sorts. Um, and so there'll be some discussions now to find out 
Is that something that we could bring to the mill as a, you know, the turbine's there, but nobody can see it. We have a little model, we have pictures, but this could be a display. It's not the exact turbine, but it's a, a turbine. Um, and, it, and Vin even said, you know what? The one we have might break. This might be a backup plan, that, right? That, so, that to me is a, the, the key. If if it's suitable, right? As I don't know like, the size of it. That you yeah, know, is, right. it, is it powerful yeah. enough? Would it fit? But in any event, I think there's there's some possibility. I don't know. There's a place in the mill right now to put it that we might have to make a decision on something would go. But um, we'll find out more whether we have um, the property was the property owner was. Um, and some may know the name, Jesse Randall Wilcox. Um, I think he passed away earlier this year. Um, and it's, I think it's his daughter or a niece. Um, his niece uh, is the executor of the estate. So Alan's in contact with her um, to find out, is it something we could look at or, or see that? Are you going to take a look at it at some point? That's what we hope, but... Um, I'm going to talk to Alan a little more. Second, about. Yeah, because he talked to me and I, I said, wondered if I would like to see it. And I would I'd be, I'd be curious to see yeah. what it actually looks like. That kind of is how big it is, right? You know, how, how, yeah. yeah, how big is What kind of a job is it to move this, uh, this thing, you know? So I think he said that, uh, I said, I'm available Thursday of this week. So uh, he said, we, we can take a, take a run up, up okay. there. You're probably working. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't work but, for me. But, but, but in any event, I, I know Alan will, he'll learn more about yeah, this. Yeah, and, yeah. And if it's, if it's worth getting, I'm sure we will. Yeah, it's, <laughs> um, it's definitely worth, worth doing if uh, right. it's something that could benefit us down, downstream. These don't come along very, very often. And there's provenance for this. It's because it's, it's a ledger. It's yeah, from yeah. a ledger mill. Yeah, it's, you know, which is incredible. But you yeah. get, so. And then I would say the last thing is the mill is up and running. They've been going the last several Saturdays. They have some visitors coming in this weekend um, for uh, a mill that, if you remember, we had Amy Boyce who had asked for us to participate and to saw some wood for her for a pretty substantial project. Yeah. We said we, it was probably more than we could do. We could give some, some lumber to intermix, um, but she's doing some repairs on this mill, some individuals from are coming down this Saturday. So um, it's All it's right. nice to know that, you know, we are a destination for many. And now the last thing I would say is those who, one of the individuals who came out for the renovations, um, an engineer that one of the bidders had, had just loved it. I mean, they were just, they're like, she, this is I, real, yeah, she, she, she was, I mean, we could hire her. She would have been a good she was. <laughs> She was into it. She really, she really, really was, which was very nice to, nice to see. Yeah. But you got, you guys did it, did a, a really great job of showing off the facility and the problems, some of the problems that we know about. Uh, hopefully, so I think at least she is, and that sounds like Roxanne too, are motivated to oh, give I us think, a good proposal. Yeah, I think this is what, what we're hoping. I for. think anyone would want to because it, it's going to lead to work. Yeah. Right? You know, well, we don't know when we'll get the funding, but we'll have the plan. That's exactly, exactly. right. All right. All right. Thank you, Vin. Good. Th yeah. Thank you, Bill. Any questions? Any questions, Bill? Okay. Uh, Lester House, um, Missy and Doug. Well, I guess the big news right now is the plaster work is underway in the front parlor. Um, the gentleman, um, well, John's brother Patrick arrived on Thursday to um, start the prep work and I went over to help them um, Thursday afternoon and all day Friday. So um, they were supposed to come today. Unfortunately, they decided to take Easter off, which good for them. Um, and so they had to show up to another job site. So they're hoping to be back into the Lester house tomorrow. Um, Rebecca, let me know today that we are having issues with both mowers. Um, so we're probably going to need to have somebody take a look at those, um, probably sooner rather than later, um, issues with both the push mower and, and the riding mower. Um, we just had service. 
Right. And I know I had spoken with Corey last week and he said that he did a small test run and everything appeared to be doing fine. So I'm not sure exactly what, what happened between then and now. So, um, and then the push mower, um, Rebecca sent me some pictures. I think it's because it's in the open barn and maybe not covered during the winter. It's, it's seen better days. So I don't know if it's worth, worth repairing or whether we need to look at um, buying a new mower, push mower for, for the Lester house or not. Those are probably not worth putting a lot of money into. It's been my 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 experience. Uh, but of course, the price of those push mowers you used to be able to, you know, for 200 250 you could get a halfway decent one, but that's not the case any longer. So, right. Um, so I can have uh, I'll contact Todd about both problems and uh, see if he can get over there to. Uh, to check both of them out. And if you can give us uh, an opinion on repairing the push mower and if it's significant, we probably want to, you know, bite the bullet and, and get a get a, a new one. Okay. So I'll take that action. Okay. I think those are the two big things right now. Okay, uh, I just would like to say that on the plastering and the, the prep work, Missy has done an outstanding job. She's she's been uh, an ace helper to the uh, the people that we hired. I think we spent all day Friday there work, working on it and getting getting the, the room prepped, which is. Where I'll, you know, a lot of the work is actually for this for this stuff. So thank you, Missy. No very problem. Much, very much appreciated. Sure, no problem. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I think those are the two key things for now. One, one, uh, just just one quick question for the Fourth of July event. The committee is there another meeting scheduled or? Yeah, I I'm. No, I missed. It. I should have had a meeting last week, and um, it it totally slipped my brain. So I will get something on the calendar probably towards the end of the um, maybe next week. Next week. This okay. Week kind of okay. Thanks. All right. No questions. Anything else, Rebecca? Rebecca, you're on mute. I think we're all set. I mean, besides we're done with Orkin, that's the other big news. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They're <laughs> turned off, but uh, the, the question um, was, we, those outside traps seem, seem to be working pretty well, as I understand it. And it's is it something we want to continue or... Uh, so... So I did talk to Rebecca about that. Um, was it Saturday, Friday? I don't remember. Last Those were the days I was there. <laughs> um, and Holdridge's actually sells the outdoor traps as well as the bait. So I think maybe we move to that for the outdoor maintenance rather than contracting with a with another vendor. Okay, and they they have locks on them. Yes. Of it, you know, no. <laughs> kids or yeah. other people who shouldn't can't get into them. Right. I'll I'll, I'll double check, but I think I think we should be good to go from that perspective. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Thanks. Yep. Uh, research, Lance. Sure. Um, well, Missy and Doug and I, <clears throat> sorry, have been, talk, have been talking some more about um, historic signs. And, and Missy already mentioned the, uh, the, the, the sawmill, talking to Alan about the sawmill. And what we're coming down to, I think, is that the idea that uh, we should have small signs, and the nice hand-painted signs that Roland Foster can do, uh, one of those for the sawmill and one of those for the Gales Ferry Community Center. And then for the sawmill, if a, if a larger sign is needed that has, you know, the hours, uh, you know, longer information than on a simple 
hand painted sign, you know, we're, we may have to go with a different vendor and maybe with vinyl letters rather than hand painted. You know, we've used uh, Tony Sevilla's firm has done some signs like that for us in the, in the past. So that's where we're heading. I suppose one question uh, for Vin is, what is the what is the date that we need to spend that two hundred dollars bin that you've budgeted for signage for Roland Foster and his well, hand painting? We could probably spend it. The the beginning of June was for per, new purchase orders. It's not going to process any new purchase orders after about the first week in June. But in terms of existing purchase orders and the right. work to be done to satisfy, those can actually flop into at least July. Okay. okay. July. That, that, that's good to know. That like the first week in August in the past is where they kind of close, close the okay. books. Up. So there, there's some, some uh, you know, a little bit of time there. Um, I, I was thinking uh, if we can't get something done within that time, your, your notion of paying, <coughs> paying and get a, getting a credit I, mm. I think that, that that's a possibility. He'd have to, he would have to give us an invoice. Basically, right. the invoice would be for um, uh, what do what they, they call them? It would be for a credit. It'd be an invoice right, for hundred dollar signs that right. we could, we or whoever we give give the the uh, uh, give it to. Could then cash give it to him to get a sign, but if you can get it done be before, you know, July, the end of July, I think that's probably the cleanest way to to handle it if if that's possible. Okay, well, we'll we'll work on it. Do you have anything else to add, Missy, about the the sawmill or? Anything no, I, I I know we already have the text for what it says on the Gales Ferry Community Center, so I can either Bill, I don't know if you know what the sign says on the on the sawmill, or I can reach out to Alan to see if he can right. snap mm -hmm. me a picture. Or let me see. Let me look, Missy. I might be able to. I think it might even be on the website. Let me okay. see if it is. Um, okay, I'll just verify. Perfect. Okay. So that that that's all I have to report. Okay, thank thank you. Uh, the center school ten. Yeah, well, there's um, I mean, it has some paint has fallen off over the winter more than I thought it needs. Maybe power washing and a little sprucing up. I don't know, five hundred dollars we could make that work, or at some point maybe get a little more and kind of paint a little bit. There's a little bit of soffit damage in one side. Um, there's a few things that could be done if there's a little bit of money to use. We could arrange for somebody to come and give us a price and fix some of that stuff before it gets any worse. Um, it was only a little bit last year. I think a lot more has fallen off over the winter. Yeah. And it's probably going to just get more. Get better. Yeah, get more <laughs> and more. Um, and there's that one edge of the roof uh, along the soffit where it's, had, it's been raised up. Now it seems to have some a little bit of rotten uh, soffit along there that the um, shingles sit on so that needs to be looked at as well i think at some point um, but that's um you know we mentioned we had the 500 dollars. yeah i think we've got budgeted five five yeah. hundred so there. if you're still happy with what um terry moran does yeah then i could tell him show him this is what we have this is what we need to get done and try to make that work for that that, that, you know, that, that, I think he's he, he, he pretty good with that stuff. As far as I think you have a, a good relationship with with Terry. <laughs> that that uh, well, he might make it because um, I mean, he came in and and uh, there was some windows to repair and so forth, and then he provided estimates to do different rooms in the house. But then he never finished the the, the window. Okay, he kind of left us holding, holding the bag. He never gave us an invoice, and uh, you know. <laughs> okay, so I yeah, I just I, I just thought maybe stuff. he wasn't that interested, or 
maybe he was thinking he was there for a multi-thousand dollar job, you know, to do the interior uh, rooms and interior, you know, whereas what we ended up giving him was just some, you know, window repair and so forth for which might be okay too. I mean, as far as you know, yeah. I don't think he wants to take on the world. I think he likes repairs that he can see the end yeah. of. But no, if you, but, he, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know who else if, really. He could... did a good job on the school, I thought. The uh, the dome. Oh, sure, right? yeah. That is healing. And he repainted the whole Gear Hill school last year. Yeah, the I town, mean, I thought, that, that, that's a little, bit whole thing. a little bit tricky. And that that looked that looked really good. It spent a lot no. more than five hundred dollars, but we got a lot more than. Yeah, you know, so yeah, twice sure, that's that. fine. You want uh, to talk to him about it, walk around it with him. Yeah, he's on the he's on the, the books in town too now, so we can get you know get him a purchase order with no no problem. So I could talk to him about that. Yeah, I think it needs something. All right, it's getting just, all just, kind just of moldy. Keep in mind, we have to get that purchase order out before, well, like the first week in June. Okay. But they won't they won't process any after that. So okay. Other than that, I think it's fine. All right. Thank, thank you. Um so anything on social media? No, nothing no, I've I've been a little slack on that. So no, not no updates tonight. Right. Uh, one, one thing which is not on the agenda but kind of old business but um, I was wondering about the that potential Boy Scout project with the heirloom apple trees is, is, is was Brandon Gary Brandon uh, Graber was here last meeting is that I missed oh, yeah that was last week right the scout, yeah, last month yeah right. he came in and gave a, a presentation you know explain what he was doing but he was going to go back on the question of maintenance. The question was raised, oh, about who's going to maintain them? Do they have to be sprayed? He didn't say, answer, we didn't talk that, but he talked pruning. He says, if you want apples, you're going to have to prune them every day. And there's a technique to do that. And yes. so it's like, who's yeah. going to do that? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think the project, the, the Boy Scouts aren't, aren't going to yeah, be. I, I think do that. He, he was going to contact 4-H or some of the high school agricultural groups. I, I think to see if one of them might might be interested to pick it up. But yeah. I think the ball was kind of in his court to get back to it. Yes, it was, that, wasn't yeah. that? That's the idea. With a plan, out. like what? Because otherwise you put in trees and they make a big mess. Yeah. Right, they're dropping, not apples, but it's just it's just dropping. Yeah. And the thing is, you have to, as we found out in our house, with our apple trees and our pear trees, that you have to prune them out so you get out apples going over. Yeah. The new producer, you can't get to it. Hey guys, my memory is that um, we we raised that issue, um, and so it was going to be part of their planning um, for what how how um, the potential heirloom apple orchard would be maintained and who they could um, form a partnership with to take care of that, whether it was um, someone at the high school or 4-H club or whatever. So I, I believe that's part of the planning they're doing. Yeah, thank you. So it's, it's still alive as far as we, we yeah. know. I mean, they're still, they're still, they're still working on it. I'm trying to get the bugs out on their side. So. Okay. I will say the idea is wonderful. Oh. The scout involved with this one um, is getting up on his age requirement. Um, so this is, I don't know, Ken, it's Reese. The oh, yeah. So it's Chris's son. Yeah. Um, now, Reese had a, he had another project in mind before and, and he got real busy with school. So. I'm hopeful they can make this work, but um, I've, I've told his dad, I said, Reese should be picking an easier project, right? If, or he's, he's going to- senior as well, right? He's a senior, yeah, but he yeah. turns 18 in the summer, so he has time. He can do it, but the Boy Scouts are sure. pretty particular. Like you, and it, it, you have to be all done, not just the project, but all the paperwork at the end. 
And if you don't do it by your 18th birthday, board review done, you're, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm, I'm not suggesting it, it won't happen. It may be something that the scout, this becomes a one that several of them do. Right. Mm -hmm. So we can start a process. And, and so um, it's an awesome idea. I just think it's an awful lot. For I, to, I think it's a great idea, yeah. but um, what was it? Right here? 50 yeah, degrees. yeah. What they wanted to do is go to um, many of the local properties where apple trees exist and graft from them and plant new trees, which oh. would be, you know, would be based off of trees that are in the area. So yeah. fit historic families that have Allen, for example, right. When, mm -hmm. you know, Okay. And they had, a, they had a couple names in mind of families they thought would be willing to allow Homer them to plant. Yeah, like Homer, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I think the trees he was, the time period he was talking about was between World War I and World War II. Yeah, it is that sort of the trees that were yeah. Yeah, harvested and used back, back in that time, that time period. Is there a lot? And I think he said, you know, you go out in the woods around some of these, uh, these farms, and you find Orchard. some remains of what used to be an apple orchard. Oh, yeah, we you know, and those, trees yeah. here. Yeah. So, uh, They're covered in bittersweet. What is it? Right. Mm -hmm. An ambitious project. Mm -hmm. but, all right. You know, I would say this, but even if for whatever, you know, it, it may or may not occur, it could be something that at the Nathan Lester house, you know, so we, we could do something similar. Obviously, if the Boy Scouts have it, as a, a, they, they could run with it. But this is something that we could do as well. I just think it takes, if you're not going to maintain the trees, you know, I think it's great planting a tree, right? It's kind of like a Johnny oh, yeah. Appleseed yeah. story. Like, yeah. you know, and the best time to plant a tree is yesterday. The next best time is today. And so, you know. Yeah. Where, yeah, just, uh, I don't re recall where they intend to do it. I know they're talking about the town green as they were thinking a bit. Did they say where where they would plant they the were, trees? They were talking about Sawmill Park okay. as one possibility. Yep. Lester House was, was another possibility. Yeah. I think those were the two they yeah. mentioned. Okay, that sounds right. And besides leaving it, trees to the owners of the property where they got the originals from, they wanted them. Sure, right, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, that's all I have. Is there any any other old or new business come before the commission? Okay, hearing hearing on. Uh, motion so to we'll adjourn. Make the motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Bill makes a motion. Jay, 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 Jay. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Opposed? No? Okay. We, we are Wait. adjourned. Real quick, who seconded? They did. They did. All right. Thanks. And hey, Missy, I also sent you a photo and email of the sawmill. Um, sign it just says you know ledger up down sawmill a historic property there's yep, I, re no. I replied back to you already <laughs> way ahead of me <laughs> she's quick she is <laughs> oh the sign on the building itself i'll have to double check sorry about that no problem the, uh, the guy we we, we hired to do the plaster, plaster in, in the Lester House, John Marshall. Oh, the best! I think he's pretty good. He's been doing it forever. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. His dad's been doing it forever. He's just getting finishing up uh, work on the Denison House. Oh, nice! He's been working there for the last few weeks, mm -hmm. and it's his his brother, Patrick works with him, but Patrick does the prep work pretty much. Mm. And uh, they charge by the hour. Mm. And Patrick, I think, is 35 an hour. And uh, he's 65, 65 an hour. 
The father or his brother? The father. Well, these are the two anymore. sons. Oh, two sons are doing it. These are the sons. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that the father's and to still, still doing it. He's got to be a law. I've got my law. He's got to be. Day. But hopefully he taught the, uh, the boys how to. <laughs> yeah, it's all about having your hands over your head forever. Yeah. No, they're good. They, they create trend. They, they go around corners. There. It's amazing what they do. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm signing off. Night all. Good night. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the same. All right, thanks everybody. Have a good, have a good night. Yeah. Couple pictures. Bye, folks. Oh my gosh! This, yeah. this, this looked to the barn that he built last year. Did, did, so, did he do all over that? House? Yeah, he cut the trees he down. He uh, cut the beams. Herbs and garden. He, um, now we'll holy it. cow! Can that is awesome. You're gonna take it. You, you have that's substantial house. too. Oh, oh yes. yes. It's big. Today they're cutting the doors, it's, making know, doors to it's go gone, in the front. Gone for 20 years, 30 good years. Good for him. I'll show you. Uh, yeah. That's what it looks like now. The a other very, picture. Very, very good, good friend of my old He's doing brother. He is. He's, he's yeah. getting ready to get away from that. Yeah. That's a lot of their kids. It's a wonder. You know, because I mean, what I remember, it's just a wonderful. But though she got old, she died. Her second husband ran the place and got into a fight with her. Children over the estate. He would mix all the scarf joints in the. It's like that's a shit up. It's like yeah. it's only the joints there and the things like this can only. He does that all. Like oh yeah, that's all that. Yeah. Measures everything. Well, and she got well, to hold take care of. I mean, okay. It's, um, the it's guy who runs the guy who runs the mic though, like he that 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 still wants to drill holes. He's an engineer. 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 You set up and it goes down Take there. Take care of it. But so it has round edges. Yeah, so you just cut them up. You help wear them on. But well, you can do them in no time. The chances are, are all up. Not, not yeah, that's good. I know. It's, what are you looking yeah, at? That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, it says, I mean, right, this it this must just, be disassembled and moved. I mean, this could have to move the house. It's going to be a lot. Which means it's probably been sold to the subdivision. It's town that it's going to be three towers. And yeah, we're trying to say them like, well, at down. least if they can save the house. That's yeah. I don't know what was you house? told me. It's this is it a yeah. sure. Back those guys. He's yeah. doing tile work now. Yeah. I don't know if you knew this. He works for like yeah. granite. Yeah, yeah, he works yeah. for a sounds like um, um, but what I understand, what I understand, he's become something of like their guy who match the grain of the backsplash. It's like so not I mean installing is one thing, but really like he's really good at like figuring out which two pieces of granite are lined up so that it looks Match. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, yeah, he is. I don't call always said you know, one of them in the automotive. Um, <laughs> he's the Coast Guard Museum. That's what That's before I mean, they got to the that, yeah. I mean, they, they, the it's, boards, yeah, they, so you it was originally called 20,000. There's no Queen and King Post on there. In the 20 years they've been out doing this, they've been the other bar for that when they were done. They've done nothing really to promote it all that. I mean, that, you you hear, only thing you ever hear about oh, yeah, is well, Tyler and Buddy. Buddy. Yep, but they reached out to Tyler and Buddy. Yeah. I mean, and then yeah. Dan, uh, Dan yeah. Donovan. So yeah, if you remember Dan Donovan, he's a legend. Uh, okay. This is Sam Bay. He's a Coast Guard Museum. He works with me now. Yeah. Um, you that that people went there to but see it's, that. Um, just that. But these boys, also, they, they, yeah. it's, it's they're doing like, like so. Yeah. Yeah. Really neat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they learn like stuff. They grumble a little, but they realize they're doing it. You know, they know this stuff. This is one slight problem. He's a good work with these for some reason. I bet he's a hard one. It's like, is that slight Yeah, well, you got to get out of the Yeah. You know, they lose, they the sometimes is, lose steam, right? <laughs> you know, you got to keep the energy going. Oh, my, my son, he's the latest in the mall. Uh, it was interesting. They're, he got a fortune cookie. But they had uh, Chinese working or, class. Um, last night I mean, they're not a big boy. They're not the 20th century. As long as you don't try anything new, you'll you know, be okay. Change are safe. I love that. Because he never wanted to do anything new. I'm like, that's perfect for you. I'm sorry. As long as you don't try anything new, everything will probably work out fine. Yeah, that's fine. They don't, they don't, they don't, they so, yeah, he's more than a whole lot there. But if you're a cruise ship, yeah, there's yeah. always yeah. something yeah. where you have okay. different okay. things okay. going. Well, let's see. Yeah. 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 Take bus, they go to the casino, go to the seaport. They take the bus, they go to the seaport.
All right. I said, you know, you think it work well? Yeah. 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 You know, he See, works in the same time from the same yeah. test. You know, the thing is that we know about the stuff, right? sometimes it's like, you know, there's a little you know, piece in between those out over the water between the water yeah, and the water. Yeah, slowed down. And our guys that rush into yeah. the enemy. I mean, you know, and they're going to have the bridge over the water. You're going to have to drive the garage to water. You know, the last thing you know, you know, know how the fire pattern is in one side. I mean, that's. You go to the water park, the water garage. You go down, you go to the water park, you go down on the old drive. Take a lift yeah, by the old like savings bank building, so go to the parking garage, yeah. park your car, cross so over on your cross over the covered walkway, over the so air conditioned walkway, over to the museum. You know, which, when no, you get out, it's not simple. Out, a lot of the level, not now, right, you know, take a left you know and get out of it. Yeah, as far as it doesn't you know, you know, you got to know where to put the cross brace. The whole traffic pattern is the wrong place designed to get people. You have to figure one and the other at eighth of an inch. You have to lose an inch. Of course, it's like a minute. Yeah, well, it's not a possible answer. On September, you gotta, and you know, and when you cut things on the trees, and then you sit for a while, I should cut them. They're great for the British crew. They might want to do a little, you know, and all from that eighth is they burn the city to the ground. You know, you can't yeah, get to take it back because it's not going to be plumb. So, oh, it's just that. Well, it seems a little bit greater. But it's just we're working on it. We told us all the work to do. Because well, the other the pockets, like, like the wrappers, like if, the state created this and all that in the, the, the last piece of the relevant okay. so that things twist a little. The uh, state created this thing back in the United State Park, it was like, supposed to be used as a sort of a wealthless point of the same way that. Um, paper. The National Park Service says for a place like Philadelphia. It's a little bigger, so it can always make it a little smaller. Those are the things you learn at the Boston and you know, to New Bedford, yeah. where they more or less act like a clearing well, like uh, a, a uh, center project. plate, like the business where people don't need to project. take tours. You got a bigger form as he went. In Boston, uh, the only well, place that the, yeah. the National yeah. Parks yeah. actually he could runs be, is the um, best part of the portfolio. Park Ranger the highest tours is Daniel Hawk. Other than everything, sure. everything else so in the old state, salt off me. Get back into a lot of the little stuff he's been waiting on. He's going to build some. Adirondack Cheers. He's got a lot of different uh, thing is, is templates that, for that's what they're playing with this thing. You have to see if they have a project or something like that. Do. He has a bunch of logs that come And then they'd be what sort of place they show? Put out one of those big Adirondack Cheers that shows the various historic sites. Oh, the Russian Red Cedar. Red Cedar. Yeah. Okay. There's a telephone pole that they can now. It never knows. Yeah, I saw that right thing. It's a park. It's like the It's like the right out of the yard. It's like Never, we have a national park. We have two national parks in Connecticut. Really? Yeah, he's done a Weir Farm, which is the he made one for a friend that gave him home of jail the where the apprentice are. Yeah. But now he has a template for it. And there's quote little national so now park. Now we can park park right park. Sure. Mm -hmm. As far as the least, we have one ranger. Well, then you got to say you got to. They never get any money to develop the Tyler is all about the armory. You know, when you hire some of these guys, the thing is, they'll also the property around there. They'll also do a lot of stuff that you don't have to worry about doing. The coal you know, like is owned by private stuff that you have to convert into the condominiums or offices, all the stuff. Or, There's really know, nothing that's going to be in the if you have in the, in the, you the park itself, in the factory itself. You're cutting, you know what you're doing, yeah. someone else could be doing it. And uh, everything else is part of the So, that's another thing, you know, working with the physical church on the whole mansion. He's got a lot of logs. It's a it's a because we got a nice little place up on the hill. All these guys got trees. I mean, so they got an old cherry tree from their house or black walnut, early maple or whatever it might be. And there's only four. So they don't take it to a mill. Little cruise ships. What? 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 <laughs> you got the custom house. The only place it's open on a regular that's open is the custom house. Yeah. Yeah. You have to cut I mean, it they, dry. They, uh, <laughs> draw a man to put their jacket. I mean, that labor. I mean, that's 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 plenty of space yeah. to do it. You keep it dry. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if it, I think it's open by school. They may be open. I know that's I know the Henson house is only open on weekends. I don't know. I might make something for the kids. It will be from the house. Right? And it was, yeah, it was like, look, I don't have no plans. But it's not going to be if I came here, I would chop it up and burn it. The thing is, is that it's not going to be the big. You know, some of us draw like they did the Air Force Museum. But let's face it, people. Mm -hmm. My brother and I was the Air Force Museum back Thank you. No, no worries. Thank you very much. Couple of years, you know, yeah. 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 and that's when he, when he does it there. 
piece like yeah, that. Yeah, we saw it in, the, in it when they first no, built, they were in their safe. new building for years. People from Lumber, they know that Craig was just right now. Place to go. You don't go to uh, what they had back in 1970. General Woodcraft in the Lumber. They got everything that they well, got. 40 bucks. I went there and they still had airplanes out. You know, see how many good projects. So, you know, somebody that's doing it at a realistic price. And they got special hand and hand dedicated. Four boards, $150 for four boards. I mean, that's things where you just. Now, yeah, I mean, the big one that board people are going to see when I see when they come so, to the parts of the game is going to be the He's learning. But you know, I never ever see when he's after six. We get questions from time to time with the saw mill where I, you know. They is the like, uh, that water could you, tax. And, could you get so started? They only have a few more. I think it opens right? a lot of the volunteers will take a board or two here and there. So yeah. that's not producing a lot. I don't know what I just got to the river. Yeah. Where, does where does it go? Where does it it goes to? They had it inventory. They sure they're going to go up to the Oh, yeah. But the original he does you have people who come in they're looking the for certain things mm -hmm. well and, across the river you know, to they the want landing from lexus the plant in Brighton. Um, the other the thing, thing i would at the craigslist is one of the facebook walk marketplace then we'll go oh, down the fort trouble really sort of take over that stuff because all the moms are on there all the time and so um you know i think you could fort trouble there yep i'm seeing more and more you know boards that are there well even there's like one sunday i like so they work over the london site at the old culture Headquarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I work Some Saturdays. of these kids are not going to get any. A couple of years ago, before they paid that action, I know they said it's all naughty. Like, it's a nice oh, thing. Yeah. You're not going to have. These all ash trees are all going to be dead. Maybe the parking lot in Fort Trumbull is third. Because anything around here is going to over. So a lot of the river and bottom line. Just out of curiosity, drove over to. You know what? And I'm not. And the only thing they have is just one thing parking around the. You know, live or die. It's like I'll put it. I don't. Yeah. Because the first people think that this is important. Right, so, okay. Was so there ever a little bit more? Fort Trumble. Fort Trumble. Trumble. Fort Trumble. Yes. Realizing yes. Anybody got it? Yes. Good. This is exciting. This is fun. Cutting, yeah. This is it. This is Fort Trumble. Out back. Were, any battle fought here? Yeah. No, not months. really. Well, so there was here, but they, they abandoned the fort before they got attacked because it wasn't all, finished. That's like right. And this is, you know, the same stuff. You got to wait a little bit. You need a little money along the way. Right. Right. So then once you get going, then you sell them. It's an impressive building, but it doesn't have the same. It just takes a while to build the inventory when you're Yeah. Marketing. It doesn't have the same. It's a smart connection. But he doesn't have the same. He sees it come up with enough stuff. That's what happens. He's busy. They're buying up. I mean, it's like uh, uh, I'm going to be done with this here pretty soon. He's hoping to get away from it. Just still, still, still trying to recover. The lady asked him, uh, you know, how could you get to build some land? I got land. You're going to build some inside corrals for this. Well, if you got somebody else, you know, I could do something. You know, so she's giving him a chance, but he's, he just kind of wants to be done for a while. So good night. Um, All right. Good night, Jay. Good night. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> yeah, I say, gentlemen, I say, oh, gentlemen, you the loose way around this. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's been awful. Like I used to say, in two years ago, I used to say, I can't say it anymore. So people say, I'm not, you know, this is no, that's my father. Yeah. Well, I can't do that anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over here, man, I 